know me. I, my mama don't know me. I can't really don't know you. Marakan nga 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 Under 30, you already have beautiful car, beautiful house, cute daughter. You know, yeah, man. A really South good person. Yeah, the, 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 seriously, the South African dream, you know. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Bernice, everybody's big sister. And this here is the hashtag sister squad to become a member. Subscribe, get notified, and make sure you don't leave without commenting because that's what we do around here. As you can see from the title, it is another episode of Sister Sessions. And I have a very special guest today, a very good friend of mine. Was that introduced like it? <laughs> Hi, Hi guys. Hi for the camera. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, my name is Ulusia Spongamola Tomo and I'm a special guest. <laughs> okay guys, so you know on Sister Sessions I only bring people who inspire me personally. Um, I bring people who have a story to tell and I feel like she has a story to tell. She's never really told me her whole story. So this is kind of like, it's, 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 it's like a double the for me. I'm hearing about yeah, it. it's like a double-edged sword. So it kind of covers my curiosity. <laughs> and also it serves to inspire you as well. So that's why I brought Lucia here today. I feel like she's such a wonderful, inspirational young woman. She's achieved so much at a young age. And she's got such a bubbly, beautiful personality. And I've never told her this, so it's very awkward. <laughs> But I thought you guys would love, love, to, love to hear her story. So, Lucia, tell us about yourself. Like, what do you do? What do you like? What are your passions? Interview questions, thank you. <laughs> that. <laughs> um. Okay. So, well, I work at HQV. Uh, it's a mine. Avangayazi. Mm. I am a rotable material controller. Um. Basically, I control like your high priced components. Mm -hmm. um, I am an industrial organizational psychology graduate. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Recently graduated. Yes. So you know. ba, 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 yeah. Ba. yeah. Um, I'm very passionate about people, as you know. That's why mm. I'm part of Inko Sazana. I'm very passionate about young people and girls specifically. Yeah. And just empowering them. Mm. So those are the things that in my community I am passionate about. So yeah. helping people is the center of my work. Oh, I, yeah. That's nice. I didn't know. <laughs> I knew. That's how we met. Actually, we met at a courses and an event. How did you know about me? Because I feel like when we met, you already knew me. I had a girl crush on you. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> she, now that she knows me, she's over me though. Because what? <laughs> what? What was I even thinking? Like, you, you know, know what they say? Your crush will crush you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> So that's when we met. We met at an event in Hendrina and um, she showed a lot of interest in what we were doing and she was very supportive of Nkosazana and that's how she ended up as the treasurer. But she still lets me keep the money. But in my young time, does I understand? <laughs> <laughs> so how, how is it like growing up? Tell us, tell us a little bit about your family background and all of that. Okay, so um, growing up, initially it was just me, my mom, and my brother, and then mom passed away um, when I was in grade two. Wow. Um, and then I had to go live with um, extended family, mm -hmm. so mom Kulami and my sister, which they welcomed me with warm, warm arms. Yes. And, um, so and your yeah. brother? Yeah, my brother continued to like stay alone because he was in like grade 11 oh, when our parents yeah, he was old away. Enough. So he was old enough to be on his own. Mm. Though really been killing him blind dealer. So I kind of <laughs> became his child. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, there was me. I was always just a person who just kept to herself. Mm -hmm. Never really like... So... Mm. Um, but this thing, passion of abandonment, and was always there. So I was always just in those. Yeah, when I my programs, or um, love life, yeah. and amarati mm. things like that. I was just always there, trying to help. And yeah. all, I, that, I think that's how I kept busy growing up. Yeah. I did debate, and yeah, that's me growing up. I was not 
So, so how 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 do you feel like you're losing your mom at that age mm. uh, affected the way that you grew up or the way that you even approach life now? Mm. Hey, and yeah, it affected it a lot because as my name is Bega Mandene, yeah, a lot of the things in his entire because I thought when my parents died, mm. I thought the only people that were really responsible for me mm. are gone now. So nobody's wow. responsible for you. You mm. have to do everything on your own. So even in a month, I struggled to ask for help yeah. or to reach out to people saying, ni ankon. Yeah. Yeah. So that part was really affected. And you do need women to like, oh. That you feel that close yeah, to Mankula. Yeah. So uh, there was no person in the community I felt that close to Mankula because I always you know, I always kept to myself. To even nothing to me. Yeah. Being alone with my mom being school and not just being in my room. Like mm. I literally lived in my room. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't really confronted we mind they they're still trying to force me to actually go for therapy and deal wow. with the whole thing. But hey, it's not easy. It's yeah, not easy. I can imagine. But yeah. I'm here. Yeah, you are here. But you actually, you 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 carry yourself so well. Mm. I mean, I would never suspect that you have that. Mm. You know those issues that you just highlighted. Now, mm. do you think they affect? By the way, she's a mom now. So a beautiful little girl that she didn't <laughs> want to give to me at birth. <laughs> I'm still, still yeah, really hala, like hung up hala, over it. Hala, hala. Like I wanted the baby without mm, the process. Mm, mm, is it so bad? It is. It is. <laughs> I know to the living. Please. It is. And then when you say I'm super, you should have given me <sighs> the baby at like one month. Yeah. <laughs> So, do you think that your childhood or the way that you grew up or losing your mom affects the way that you raise your daughter now? It really does because. I find myself being very, very cautious of mm. like every moment that I spend with her. I'm telling this question all the time. Am I being a good mom? Wow. Am I loving her enough? Am I giving her enough love? Because mm. I'm feeling like I'm a projector because I feel like maybe I didn't get enough love. Yeah, yeah. I did, I'm not really feeling your time to love my mama and mm. all of that. So I find myself like every time I'm feeling like oh, overcompensate, I want to overdo everything. Wow. Like, yo, okay, I must love her. Yeah. Yo, we learn. Oh, okay, no, oh, I'm shame. like, I'm yeah. just that person mm. now. So, yeah. But I guess it, as much as the, the, there's underlying issues behind mm. it, it's still a good thing to love your your baby. You yeah, know? it is. It, it is, is a good thing. And I think is. she will always treasure that closeness that you guys have. Fun of <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> but at least you're raising her with people. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just doing it alone. Yeah. So she has that connection with other people. Mm -hmm. So she won't, as much as she'll cling to you, but it won't be mm -hmm. like that hectic. You yeah. understand? No, it is hectic. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We'd be talking a different story now. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. So, what were you? What were you like as a team? Because from observing you now, I mean, you've touched it a little bit. Until you were a very active person and stuff mm. like that. Um, observing you now, I feel like you're you're always chasing an, the next goal. Like you're you're an overachiever. You're always trying to get like to the next level of your life. Mm -hmm. What were you like as a as a teen? Were you already like that from? I think on? I think so because I was a very competitive person, like mm. academically because sports all good and a bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Academically, I was very competitive. Like I was always like I, I would literally cry. But in Champe, there's something in like I like academically, and you're not there. You didn't make it. Like yeah. I would literally cry because I want to be there. Like mm. and as whether it stemmed from the fact that in Champe, I wanted to feel like something more or whatever. But mm. like I was just always wanting to achieve something. Mm. Yeah. But that shows actually a very resilient personality mm -hmm. because usually children who lose their parents and don't have that um, bond with them, they kind of, in a way, you are isolated. Mm -hmm. So they usually isolate themselves from every sphere mm -hmm. of life. So that's actually impressive that you were able to still be social and mm -hmm. do all of that thing, all mm -hmm. of those things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so how did, how did you get into engineering? Hectic. <laughs> you, are, you kind of are a boy already. I am. <laughs> but I'm just wondering, how did you get into engineering? Lucia did uh, diesel mechanics. Diesel mechanics. Yeah, yeah. Diesel mech. 
we also did we meet it we met we met at ctc we yes, met at we ctc yeah. technically yeah. i was doing my in-service training as you guys know i studied mechanical engineering and for a portion you have to go Uber <laughs> fizzing and shave with that block all oh, that Bruh. block thing oh. I had oh, nightmares. I, 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 I had, I had blisters shaving in the right block. I hate that thing Where so much with my whole life. Guys? Yo. Anyway, we actually met at CTC now that okay. I recall. She was busy in Amakari. I was busy in Ispaner. Mm. You know, the vibes. How did you get into that sphere? <sighs> okay. So, um, grade 10, right? So mm. our teachers are like, you are going to do natural sciences and whatnot, whatnot. Mm. I'm like, yeah, no, I... I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, that stems from the fact you go to in Kulele Middleburg and you see your successful people, but seven, but seven, and mine. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm full of Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm going. In the world, good passion, so when I'm life science, I'm not gonna do that. So I then went into mechanical, doing uh, mechanical and more, um, what is it, sciences and all yeah. of that. And then there was a program, yeah, yes, I'm mm. And then I got into that program. Mm. Wanted to get out because, yeah, there was negative energy around it. Wow. Yeah, but you won't be successful. And people that are in the program came. But I was like, no, guys, it's not a good program. Yeah. So I wanted to get out, but then couldn't get out. Mm. I'm glad I didn't get out, though. Okay. I really am. And then, okay. <laughs> Fast forward uh, into me not being able to get out because I can't afford to get out. Yeah, but yeah. Funny mal, to pull me. Hey, so I had to now go Stick and it qualify. Mm. It was horrible, B. It wow. was really horrible. And you saw how tiny I was. Yo, like. of course, yeah. So it was, yeah. But yeah, we made it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> we what made were some it. of the challenges that you faced, ACTC, or during that program? For me, na gakulu is sexism. Yeah. Especially in the field that I was oh, in, yeah. mm. it was better for a man to who did a man to man who did electrical. electrical. Yeah. But for Tina, good diesel make because a lot of the things good diesel make they're very very heavy. Yes, and you know cars stereotypically boys. Boys, yeah, and mm. So when you can't do something or you try to ask for help, it's like ah, until you make diesel make, yeah. do it. Mm. Yeah, and so you can't ask for help even for things which yeah, yeah, that's because what you're I was a girl. You can't, you mm. have to figure it out yourself, mm. you know, and obviously the heaviness of the things you have to pick it out Yo, and okay. all of that. So I think for me now it was that and going into a mind, this whole thing of women not fitting in here, mm. women not belonging mm. here. Mm. So for me now it was a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Jo. I also experienced some, I had a similar experience because when I was doing my in-service training, mm. I had to do it, uh, a portion, I also had to do it at a mine. Mm. And I remember they put me in a... It's actually in my dozer mm. where they fix dozers and it's only literally only men. Mm. I think there was one lady and she was a boiler maker mm. and she was often not even in the office. Mm. And I remember the first few weeks, literally there was this guy there. I don't I don't remember his name because he's not important. <laughs> but I remember his face and I remember his character. He used to say to me every morning, Kanti pitiya. Why is no imagine And they would drink their coffee and then the other guys would go to the sink and try to rinse. Why isn't this woman um rinsing coffee lady Imagine. And I remember I'm a girly girl, so frankly, mm. you know I like to look nice mm. and stuff like that. I had um a jowl set mm. and it wasn't long. Mm. And it was like I need to look like cute sexy alcohol. Like you know those Annoying yeah. sexist yeah. remarks, no And there's a lot of them in my head. There's literally like a lot of them. Even now, even now, in the current job that I'm in, yeah. Like, you get people that would literally come into my office. They see me sitting on the chair, yeah. but they would speak to the guy who's sitting mm. in with that fool. And Toguti, that guy is just passing by. Like, hello, hi, I'm Yo. here. I, I'm literally in front of you. Yeah, I'm in charge of this I'm section. I'm in charge of this section. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they overlook you just because you're female, and the people um when I with guys not be actually with you. Yeah, I prefer I won't speaking talk to, to a, woman. Mm. a man. Mm. Yes, or I don't think you know enough about this. Wow, you know, and the people who literally tell me no because um there's this white guy who was there before me. Yeah, they literally tell me no. I'll, I'll I'll call Michael. Wow, I'm like Michael's gonna tell you to call me. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm. so so how do how do you deal with that when you're fake? Like obviously. There's side remarks, there's mm. 
shady treatment but there's people who come at you directly mm -hmm. no i'll talk to michael how do you deal with that like i think without he really really supports me wow. so even i even tell them now he's gonna make you come back to me so yeah. i literally stay humble and be like okay cool you want to call michael yeah call him do you want his numbers mm. call him yeah. like, like now mm. humble pie oh okay that's a baby tea <laughs> in in me and oh, i'm so like yeah. boy yeah, yeah. One time, mm. you know mm. so i guess you just have to understand with he in as much as it is progressive like, yeah like, we don't tell people, it, mm. but I see how they eat. Yeah, it comes. You we kind of have to accept it. Yeah, comes with the territory. We, we really, we really have a long way to go. But mm. yeah, one step at a time. Guess we we'll get there. Yeah, some way or the other. Do you ever feel inadequate being in a position of like management <sighs> and overlooking a, a lot, section? And... A lot, a lot, a lot, And sometimes we feel like at all, especially when you like in a meeting and there's just like your engineers mm. and your financial managers just the when they ask you a question, you literally like, oh, what if you can do it wrong? Yo, and Lapo, you what know if, what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, what if you can do it wrong? What if you can do like, and then lending me cool my hair? You go, mm, I think you're better. Mm. So th that is always the end. Now, kind of, because people are already questioning you. Yeah. People are already judging you. You mm. see, she's female. And then you can't even express yourself properly. Even though you're not going to see her, you're not going to go to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not we were emotional. Female, female yeah, drama. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you always have to be like cool, but at the same time, I'm not going to be sure. I'm not going to be No I'm not going to be like, I know, I'll come back to you. Let me just check. Yeah. Because you want to be very, very sure. Yeah. Because when I'm not going to be wrong, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big exactly. deal. Mm. Mm. I, we go through it a lot, hey? Hey. It's a lot. So you said you 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 went into a program, it is on mechanics mm -hmm. via Samanko. Yes. And then how did you get to break it down for mm -hmm. us? How did you get from that program to being a uh, what did you say you do now? <laughs> you manage the rotables. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So from okay. So from matric. Okay. Let's let's say from yeah. grade ten, yeah. get into the program, right? Mm. And then when you finish your matric, you now go to CCC mm. for your three years training. Mm. Okay, ours was shorter because it was two years. Okay. I don't know what the reason was, mm. but like ours was shorter mm. because it was two years. So you do that training, do your basic training, mm. you go back to the mine, we didn't. Mm -hmm. You do your basic training, you do an advance, and then you go to the mine you get to now get the internal experience, experience. What actually happens yeah. and apply everything that you learn. And then you have to like um, fill in your, 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 they give you a workbook that you have to like fill a in. Portfolio, a portfolio, yeah. yes. Um, so it has modules that you have to like Complete, do at yeah. the mine. Mm. So once that is finished, you get booked to do your finals and then you take your final exams. Mm. Whether you pass or not, you are given two attempts to mm. do that. Mm. Those, um, the, the test. The test. The trade test. The trade test. <coughs> so once you pass that, um Google and Wabuti, is there space for mm. you or is there no space? Mm. In my situation there was no space. Okay. So I had to um take um sevens or assistant diesel okay. mag. Um they were basically just trying to keep me there. there basically, was no space yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, um I had to take e, -E position year assistant diesel mag. Mm. Um, I didn't stay there long because I felt like I was being underutilized because yeah. in as much as it is make bains in my I really enjoyed um what I was doing because okay. I felt like I was learning a lot. It is make I find the manyama trade which was in the one everything. Oh. You literally learn something yeah. every day which, oh and it's so nice. Like mm. should to feel and then when we have figure of voice and like yeah. that feeling like oh, I did that. Yeah, yeah, that's kinda cool. You know, that's kinda cool. So I really enjoyed it and now being in assistant mm. i feel like i'm being underutilized and mm. i wanted to leave so um there was a position a control room um for they actually wanted a person to come and manage a new system the mm. so my um then gs said okay i have a person who um i think might be fitting for that because in Muntu who has an engineering background okay i went to do that didn't do that for long as well and then I now went into planning. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm <laughs> <I'm pretty delicious. laughs> okay, and then I went into planning. Mm. Um, 
found planning quite boring because literally the same thing yeah every day every day yeah. every day every, mm. day every day every day so when the opportunity came um for a rotable material controller i was like why not mm. because now it's something at least more challenging than yeah. what i'm doing something very related mm. but at least it's more challenging because nafuti i'll be applying my knowledge it kind of yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. so i then went into that then um then COVID happened mm -hmm. We had to stay home. I had to stay Imagine. home. And then Masbuya from Ukulokan for me COVID the I couldn't stay I had to now go a Bushman's which I was now doing something totally different for what I was appointed for. Mm. Um but I'm really grateful for that opportunity because I really learned a lot in that short short space of time yeah. because my then boss allowed me to literally say, This is what I wanna do and mm. he says, Go, go do it, you mm, know. Okay. I want to learn how you guys do costing reports. Mm. This is how we do it, you know? Wow. So I really am grateful for that opportunity, but I think I got too comfortable in mm. that um, set up that when I got pregnant, <laughs> boobs before boys boobs because boys like, bring babies. <laughs> and then I got pregnant and yeah, things really, really, just turned south mm -hmm. when I came back. I literally didn't even have Istroso Clara pants. Wow. It was that bad. Because I came back, my boss had been fired for whatever reasons. Yo. Um yeah. People were like, Tina, we don't know what to do with you. I need to when you went doing what you're supposed to be doing. Wow. I'm sure you were doing your own things. Mm. We don't know what to do with you. So what must happen now? Yo. You know? So I kind of had to now kind of now start learning the actual job even as you know you're like mm. you're kind of you're manager oh you know table is in it sequence yeah, like, I mean, you look now look. Look mm. so i moved to the different sides to mm. get all the exposure because everyone that was hired with me had already yeah. progressed and i mean i can't even manage the mm. stores like you know so yeah that's how i got here mm. it's a long journey <laughs> it's, a long, <laughs> it's a long journey yeah. but um i think someone else in your position as a good ones you trade mm. and then going into being a diesel mechanic mm. assistant would have just chilled and be like yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. especially for a lady mm. Misha, like in your position mm. i think I'm, I'm thinking for myself because you were it i would you were, uh, I, if it was in that sphere oh. of engineering, oh. yeah, I would be like, uh, hey, what's up for now? I mean, an assistant most of the time just hands the other guy tools. No, guys, what it's that? boring. You do that, literally, you do that. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me, so many months. Me? You don't want me? You don't want me? It's just my own personal opinion because I know that I didn't like my experience mm. in the engineering field yeah but i'm proud of how you handled it like mm. anyone else would have chilled oh boy if you're planning this is a nice cushy mm. office job mm. let me chill mm. you know mm. so i share my as in seven to the girl <laughs> so what was your motivation motivation to study industrial psychology um okay so I've always wanted to study law. So okay. I looked at something that was related to that. But it was the conditions. I really didn't like I really didn't mm. like how I was treated as mm. fans, you mm. know. And industrial psychology really tries to strike a balance for Abantugus, Abantubabe um comfortable and seven zinwa but could be probably more productive. And I saw it's okay fine. For me, in things I was putting apply what all the knowledge that I've already acquired and do wow. something that I actually love. Mm. It is this because I cannot now I felt like I cannot now go start something totally, totally like fresh, 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 yeah. fresh, fresh, like Niham mm. Yunzilo unrelated to mm. what I'm doing. So I was like I'm already here and I'm seeing a gap and yeah. this is the change that I would like to to do. Yeah. So I'm feeling at tea, being in this position would put me in a position of putting conduces a banyo a bantu that come after me wow. with experience of being a ginger. Oh my! So, yeah. no, no, no. You're such a smart girl. No, no, no. You know, you learn something new every day about people that you thought you knew. Like, <laughs> I, I was, you don't know me. I my mama don't, don't know me. me. I clearly don't know you. But I'm not going to know you. 
<laughs> that's actually so smart mm. it's so practical on so many levels mm. it goes back to your passion for people and mm. making lives better for some other people mm. it applies to your current position mm. it mm. applies to whatever you're planning to do next yeah. like it's such a smart move so how was the unisa experience because you studied via unisa <laughs> and how has the unisa experience been employed um we got it before you, you started your position now and then mm -mm -mm. and then you move to a new position that requires more of you and then now you get this new title of mommy how did you do it all because <laughs> some of us can barely do one thing at a time and all of these things required so much from you mm -hmm. how did you do it guys it's a lot mm. it's a lot but honestly as i don't wanna lie my experience with unisa wasn't that bad mm. no actually wasn't that in the husband yeah, yeah. As, yeah as any school does yeah, really it wasn't really that bad but um for me it was e -E commitment and the fact that i i'm a very proactive person mm. so okay. i think that's how i managed because um especially last year because mm. i was i was i was pregnant and stuff mm. i almost didn't make it because my literally after giving birth that week i had 10 assignments to submit yeah. that week on friday when i came back i came back ekaya sunday yeah friday they were true jo. So because the I got through all those other years because I was a very proactive person because otherwise you don't you can't manage work yeah. and be a person who you know I'll do it when it's due. Mm. You cannot really like what you want when otherwise you can have on Yeah. But I knew I'm doing this because I want to actually know Wow. That's, that's so unique. So we, that's why can pass for kids. No. <laughs> it didn't it didn't work for me because mm. at the end of the day i can mm. actually apply, apply it, it. Mm. because then i've, I've wasted time mm. i've wasted my time mm. so i think he thought that really really helped me but being pregnant studying and working even though i was working from home the whole time yeah <clears throat> it was a lot because the whole time i felt like sleeping Yo. i was tired and then now being a new mom mm. a young a, mom a young mom you don't even know which he, what am I supposed to do? Mm. There's assignments, there's Joe, exams. So much to figure out. So much to figure out. But I think Bulog on him, mom really, really, really helped me out because mm. she was like, you know what? <clears throat> Let's untana when I do your thing. Yeah. Because you can't now be stressing about umtana ngapa stress because mm. lifting was just good when you're dropping out. Yeah. Was just good or, or you pausing mm. when you're not pausing, you're not doing anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, but gap year like no, no, mm. no gap year. Mm. Let's untana. Yeah. Life. When I, when I and do do you wow. I mean, I'm done, I'll take care so I really 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 am appreciative of that so I was really liking that regard sure. Saba will. <laughs> Saba will. <laughs> no that's very nice you know, I've met Lucia's I mean she's referring to mom cool, like, my, yeah. my, my mom that's how yeah the big she's role mom, that yeah, she plays in your life she's I mom. can't imagine her any other way yeah she's yeah. very warm she's very you know, mm. I, I, so I can just imagine her. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I think it would it would have been difficult if you didn't have her and your sister. It would and, have. It mm. really, really would. Because you are again. So they really, really. Even now, like, like, I don't know There will be no fight here. <laughs> yeah, that's very special, hey? Mm. So, what is your next goal? Honours, honours, honours. I'm already um registered for my honours. So yeah. Can you can you inject me? I don't know. Can we transfer the <laughs> spirit so funda? Because when it comes to books. No, but remember with me, it's not even just the spirit so funda. I actually need to. People yeah. really need to understand. If you want if, if anyone is interested in industrial psychology, mm. It is not easy and it's a very very long journey like your degree it's not enough you can't do anything yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything with it um so you need um your honors to at least um do something mm -hmm. but for you to qualify as an industrial psychologist in south africa you need your masters so sure. after honors it's masters yeah i know it's a lot <laughs> your interests stress me <laughs> your after interests, honors it's masters they stress me for but i'm girl. thinking i'm just gonna register as a psychometrist because mm. it's an 
shorter route mm. and then i can do the rest chilled mm. yeah okay cool enjoy <laughs> Some of all the same motivation, guys. Yo, same motivation to study, hey, because like books. I think, but because I studied something that I wasn't passionate about, true. It, I had a negative outlook towards mm -hmm. school because mm -hmm. I mean, I loved school when mm -hmm. I was in high school, but I went to varsity and engineering just beat me. <laughs> beat me. I still have bruises. <laughs> I still have bruises. <laughs> so, would you advise? someone to go into like a woman especially mm. a young woman to go into a program because they also it's always like i'm happy ship mm. out out for young people who have math and science and grade 12 and whatever would you advise them to go that route It'd definitely be i really i wouldn't discourage anyone i just want to let you know it's not it's not going to be easy yeah obviously because naturally as a wafazi we want comfort mm. and so it's not comfortable you're mm. not going to be comfortable you're going to be out there Yo. you're going to be out there oh, my boots. Oh, my boots. Yeah, my overall you're going to be dirty so expect that so mm. once you can get over that mm. it's actually just a really nice experience you know it's into something that oils and zanjas are seeing yeah. it come to life mm. seeing it is a band and you know which oh you know, that, yeah. and low, you know connect to low, you understand yeah so it's it's really a nice feeling i would really 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 advise someone who is interested to mm. a bigger zele and i i i i because i went back this character in the book but it's worth it it's really worth it it's really like, guys it's worth that if you were thinking about it you just need to have <laughs> just need yeah, to have, back up yeah, yeah, yeah just, was right. just act like you've got it all together <laughs> even though you're falling apart inside yeah, i don't right. think it's going to be bad forever no yeah. it's not going to be bad forever and want to see keep a lavender but i love is my name you they're very they hard to deal yeah, with no, because you will have what is president yes they, they don't belong they don't belong mm. there so once you come up on you do belong there yeah mm. So guys, Ulusha, <laughs> Ulusha, how old are you? Twenty six. Twenty eight. <laughs> I'm twenty six. Yes. She's twenty six, and I actually thought she was older because of everything that she's achieved. You know, I assumed she's a big sister like me, <laughs> but she's a little one. Ulusha, when did you buy your house? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. It's been long. Lucia has bought a, already bought a house. She's on her second car, and it's a Mercedes. And hey, I'm wondering what she's <laughs> up to next. Like, what is your motivation to secure things like that? Because Tina, young woman, we just like you know, we just here for vibes. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I would have been as focused as you. I'm just assuming, but like, I feel like you jumped to buy a house. Mm. Like you could have waited. Mm. It wasn't an emergency. What was your motivation? I like For convenience, them. guys. In as much as people like a soft life, yeah. I like convenience Which and I is like soft life. comfort. Mm. So I think for me, it was like, in kind of space, I'm mm. I literally lived in my room. In kind of space, I'm kind of one end hour that is mine. So I think mm. the in thing is, you know what? Let me just buy a house mm. because when you're waiting, you're going to Okay. Isn't there is a stupid mm. in the sense? So I was like, no. I think it's the most of the young and the lending is I am low against and I don't get into it. So let me just buy myself a house. Mm. Mm. And I really love Zing Gugay. Mm. I love Zing Gugay. I love Zing Gugay. So I think my greatness is in. Oh, is in, in that Zingue. department. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, hey. It's not, it's, I mean, you're under 30, you already have a beautiful car, beautiful house, cute daughter. You know? Yeah, man, a really good dream. Yeah, the, 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 seriously, the South African dream. You know, it's not the typical con. It's not the typical description that we give to the average twenty-six-year-old in South Africa these mm. days. Especially the way our economy is going, it's like it's absolutely discouraging and yeah. it's trash. Mm, like mm, mm. you would even feel discouraged to go study because there's no What's job. What's the point, mm. honestly? But it's nice to see a black mm. sister achieving these things at a young age. So yeah, I think we're getting to the end. I just want to ask lastly, what do you wish for your daughter? Mm -hmm. What do you wish for your daughter and all the other little sisters and big sisters out there for for their lives? You know, above everything else, confidence and really just believing in yourself and your abilities. Because mm -hmm. 
because in this thing we, we, we suffer from imposter syndrome because we look at ourselves and we think I'm not good enough. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. Like see as discouraged as you know, we, we, without even trying, without yeah. even opening this as ooh when you say no, I'm not good enough, I'm never gonna make it there. So I think just be confident in your ability to do things and believe Uzi, you can do it. So whatever mm. you set your mind to, if Uzi me say like in something, mm. you can really, 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 really achieve it. Mm. And to my daughter um i really wouldn't want her to conform to like social norms and how people view what beauty is what mm. a woman is supposed to be and i want her to be truly herself yeah. and whatever that she believes that she is she must just leave her truth wow yeah that's nice that's really nice speaking of imposter syndrome when i invited lucia she was like <laughs> she, i can't talk i don't want to talk and look at this no. We literally did this without even stopping. We spoke seamlessly, we spoke fluently, practically. As I'm cool nonsense. So who's so like? Yeah, one of you can do anything I you set your mind to. No, I think in the sorry, in syndrome. Yeah. Like looking at just like what you see in me, I yeah. don't see in myself yeah. because I'm like, what could I possibly inspire yeah. someone? I like what inspire? What's inspiring about yeah. me? Yeah, one so mm. it's it's that. Yeah, but I'm glad that you came and you overcame it. I'm glad I did yeah. too. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this conversation and that you were motivated and inspired to chase after your dreams. Don't stop learning. Think about your life. Think about the future. Think about how it all comes together. If you listen to Lucia's story, it literally all comes together and she's still literally connecting the dots and yeah we look forward to seeing more of you congratulations on your graduation and everything that you've achieved you. and i wish you all the best in everything that you're aspiring to thank you baby. so guys please make sure that you have subscribed and liked this video comment down below what did you take away from this video what are you going to chase after what are your aspirations? Are you going back to school? Are you registering? I think I'm gonna <laughs> register as well. No matter register, but just to register, just to, just, just to graduate. Actually, I have graduation you formal. You have graduated. I see. But I did, I never wore the attire ah, because of COVID. Yeah. So I do have graduation formal. So I think I'm going to so apply or something please go and demand your graduation ceremony yeah. get full. clearly i need to do that <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye.